What's going on guys? It's Bradders from Rugloper Games here, and as of recording this video, my Kerbal Space Program 1.0.3 has been live for around about 10 minutes. That's right, this is a patch which has fixed a number of bugs with Kerbal Space Program 1.0. However, it has also added in, added on into the game, as, as Max Maps did actually state in some of the dev notes a couple of weeks ago, a couple of new parts into the game. Now, if you're fully aware with Kerbal Space Program 1.0, uh, you'll know that convection, conduction, and all other kinds of heating are now modelled correctly with the new thermal and aerodynamics model. And a few players have been having uh, some a little bit of difficulty being able to uh, radiate the heat um, from their spacecraft after entry. And so, to get around this problem, Squad have added into the utility section a selection of radiators. This is my first time actually having a look at them, so if you come onto the next page on the actual um, thing itself, ignore all these parts, they're still from Space Y, the Space Y mod, but these things are radiator panels. They are both um, extendable and just panel variants. This is probably the... Uh, this is the large version of it here. It says a radially attachable radiator panel to help dissipate heat into space. So if we take it off here, you can see they're pretty cheap. They're only 450 funds. And uh, you can just slap them onto the side of your uh, spacecraft like this. This is only just a quick model uh, for you guys to see. Like I say, I'm covering this just about 5 or 10 minutes after the patch has actually gone live. And I'll probably be uploading this as soon as possible. So you can see here, you could, if I got a fuel tank out here, if I just... Uh, I'll pop any sort of fuel tank on the base here, just stick this underneath the capsule. You can imagine an, an Apollo style sort of command module here, and you can just stick this on the side here, and uh, it will make sure that your heat is not is uh, dispersed more easily. Now obviously we have different sizes of these, if I can just find it again, we have a smaller version of it, if we stick it on here. Now this will obviously dissipate, dissipate less heat than uh, one of this size. Um, but it will be more suitable for smaller spacecraft, such as uh, smaller robotic landers. Now we come on to the larger ones though. These are uh, ones that actually fold out. You can see all these radiators are very, very light. So we have the small, uh, extendable, deployable thermal control systems. Um, these are liquid-cooled uh, liquid cooled radiator panels. They have quite a high crash tolerance of 12 meters a second. And if I stick it on here, you can see they work much the same as uh, as solar panels do when you extend them. Obviously, I believe these are retractable. I shall uh, bind them to an action group and see if this is possible. Yeah, you can see we can uh, both uh, expand and contract the radiators. So I'm going to bind these all to action group 1 and I'll take it out to the launch pad and you can see them in action. So let's just do that here. I'll bind all of this to action group 1. Toggle panels. And then finally we've got the absolutely ludicrously large um, radiator here. All of these are very, very large. In fact, I think I'm going to have to rotate this one slightly in order to get it to deploy correctly. Uh, can I do it? There we go. So I'll do that and I'll put it onto an action group, custom one, same as before. And toggle panels, that's right. So these are all the new radiator parts. And so now if we go out onto the launch pad we will be able to see these things in action. This is my first time actually seeing them in action as well, so this is uh, sort of a uh, sort of a reactions video, I suppose. Um, like I say, I'm filming all of this live. I haven't got anything particular planned. Uh, I'm just going to time accelerate to morning, I think, if I can actually do that. Let's time accelerate to morning here. Oh, there we go. Right, so let's press 1 and open up these radiators and that is a very cool animation and obviously you can see here oh this one's moving what are you doing what are you doing and so you can see you can see here the status is that it's cooling at the moment something oh god yeah um this is a very large radiator wow um yeah that is a very large radi radiator um yeah <laughs> I don't know what else to say about that really. 
Um, these are the new parts added in with Kerbal Space Program 1.0.3, the latest patch which has fixed a number of bugs uh, within Kerbal Space Program 1.0, which you may have missed. And uh, it's fixed the, aerod the aerodynamics to make them a little bit more, uh, little bit more realistic as well. And uh, like I say, they come in different sizes. They come in with uh, fixed sizes like this, fixed ones that you can't really be, uh, can't be altered. And then we, and there's a smaller one under here which you can't see because of these huge things. And then we also have the small um, extendable, the medium extendable, and the large extendable versions of all of these. Now you can see here the status is cooling, and if I press F11 to bring up the uh, the temperature of it, the temperature overlay, you can see that it's all pretty damn cool. So, uh, so yeah. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you guys. That's pretty much all uh, all that I can say about these things so far. Remains to be seen when I can actually use these. Maybe to quickly dissipate heat from, say, uh, ore mining, maybe, or uh, or from like if you were in a violent reentry on Eve, uh, you could quickly dissipate heat. So straight after. Um, straight after your entry you could deploy one of these out of the flow of the airstream so you could still uh, radiate heat without these things getting torn off because I'm guessing these things can be torn off pretty easily. Well, so from that guys that's pretty much all I wanted to say for this video there really isn't all that much to cover I'm going to try and get this video out as quickly as possible for you guys uh, but aside from that I will be covering these a little bit more on this week's KSB News show which will be on Sunday unless any massive developments um, come about until then but until then guys my name is Brad and as always, this is Bradders signing off. I completely butchered my in my outro yet again. This is Bradders signing off. Peace out. And as always, epic. Oh no, I'll press the wrong, the right button, shall I? And as always, epic zoom out shot. Peace, guys. <laughs>